Hello everybody and welcome back to the West Coast by Bullet Bill. So as you can see the forage wagon which is on the back of this tractor is 50% full. Now this actually went into the shed being 100% full and the reason why is because obviously we have got the seasons mod running which actually allows grass to rot. Not only in the field but also when it's in a trailer or something similar. Therefore what we're going to have to do is first up again another 50%. We have lost 50% obviously, it's not going to come back. And yeah, that's going to be um, just one of those things which is going to happen from time to time. Now I did actually say, is there a better solution to the grass? Because obviously we can't store it anywhere because it will keep rotting away. And the response was simple but very effective. Basically, most people just said, well, the sheep can have grass or hay. The hay doesn't rot away as long as it's undercover, nice and dry. So just do that. Don't bother with the grass. And I'm thinking, what? How did I not even think of that? To everybody who said that, you're all geniuses. Because it didn't even cross my mind, despite it being a fairly obvious thing. So yes, thank you to everybody who said it. It's very true, and it's what we're going to do. But first, we need to, of course, pick up the rest of this and whatever we can fit into the sheep feed trough, we will do. So we're going to be buying the sheep today. And as mentioned before, you've really got to buy at least 100 to make it worthwhile. So, yeah, it's not going to be possible to buy 100 today, but we can have a jolly good start. Now the money to buy these sheep is going to be coming from various sources. Obviously, we're going to have bales to sell over the next few months. We've also got any kind of grain which we get, anything which is in storage currently. And I think you can actually sell cut grass anyway, so we could sell this if we wanted to, if there's anything left over. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think we're going to do too badly in this series. Usually when I say that, things fail, but no, I think, especially as we're on 77,000, yeah, it's going to be okay going to be a nice long series of success and if it isn't a success then I should probably pack in doing this but that won't happen because it will work out I'll make sure of it 75% right okay so we'll just finish off picking up these dregs and then we'll go over to the sheep farm we'll drop this off we'll then take the animal trailer over to the livestock market and go from there there we go right fold it up and before I start going somewhere I don't want to, we better just check and make sure we know exactly where the sheep farm is. The pig farm is Stonehill. Um, the chicken farm is Clifftop Farm. The yellow one is the sheep farm. Good, we're actually there already. And actually the cow farm is... which one is it? This one here, the green farm. Mountain View. So that keeps it very simple. Almost clashing front loaders there. I can actually hear sheep, which is bizarre because I don't have any. Oh, I see. It is the statics just over here. Here are the feed troughs and the water troughs, but I don't think, I might be wrong, but I don't think we can actually do anything here yet. No, uh, because we don't have any. So if I turn the engine off here, we'll then transfer over to the tractor around the corner. And we'll attach it to the Joskin livestock trailer just here. Probably should have taken the PTO shaft off first, actually. But not to worry. There we go. Anyone playing the brand new uh, game, Life is Strange, before the storm? Probably not your cup of tea if you're playing a farming simulator, although it could be. But I've always found that series of games quite interesting. But if you are playing it, let me know. I played episode one last night. It took me two and a half hours. And now I thoroughly enjoyed it. Very good. Looking forward to episode two. It's one of those games where the episodes are released um, every month or so. You pay just one lump sum for the entire series, but then they sort of keep you hanging with cliffhangers, and then, yeah, you have to wait a bit for the next episode to be released so you can play that. It's actually one of those games where it's not really like a game as such. It's more like watching a movie. It's a very interesting thing. You can, I can certainly see why it's such a successful game series. But if you've never played it, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. 
Um, but yeah, if you're over 16, I think it is, it's worth a, a nice, uh, nice try out because obviously, uh, yeah, it, it's a different game completely. It's very heavily story based, but yeah, the language is not so tasteful. So, be warned. Right, so uh, yeah, I think the livestock market is in one of these areas in here. Um, I don't want to overshoot. Ah, oh, it's further up, I think. It's somewhere in Riverston on sea, anyway. I like going to this area. It's a very nice part of the map. Plus, we can get some diesel if we wanted to. Uh, it could be in here. If we turn right up here, it is, I think. Otherwise, this is just the vehicle place. It's in there, isn't it? Hmm. Here we go. Found it in the end. So I think what we have to do is try and find a, a big enough opening to turn this thing around in. Um, it's quite a tight yard actually looking at it, so we must be careful. Don't want to take out any of these barriers and then let the sheep or the cows run right. That would not go down too well at all. And the prices are unusual. And I can actually just scroll the mouse to buy them. 49,601. Let's make sure that it's actually the sheep. Sometimes when you don't select the correct animal, you can buy the wrong one back. But you know, that seems to be good. Um, yep, they're definitely sheep. So sheep here. So perfect. We have a full load of sheep in the trailer. Brilliant. So let's take it over there. It's actually going to cost us about £500,000 if we were to buy 100 just now. Um, but we're not going to. We're, of course, going to let them breed a bit. I think they do actually reproduce at a fairly decent rate, providing they've got enough feed and water. So we're not actually going to buy 100. We're going to hopefully breed quite a lot of them. The more we have, the more they'll breed. Um, it's just how things work. And, yeah, I'm hoping that most of the ones which we get from... I think we'll probably buy about 70, but I'm hoping from then onwards, um, yeah, we shouldn't have to buy any more. If anything, we should be selling them. But that is a very long way down the line. So, just a bit of feedback would be fantastic to hear. Please do let me know what you think of this series so far. Is it not what you're expecting? Is it as you expected? Is it better? I would love to know, and if you don't like it, please do give an honest reason, because then I can obviously improve for the future. I've actually had a few people already in the previous episode say this isn't the episode, this isn't the series I was expecting. I'm unsubscribing or something, but you didn't tell me why. I need to know why to be able to improve in the future. So yeah, that would be greatly appreciated. So I think we can actually put them into here. I'm assuming that gate does open. It usually would do. It does. Brilliant. And then we can give them the food and the water they require. We also need to do some spraying today in some of our fields. Ooh, sorry sheep, bit of a rough ride for you there. It's a long trailer and I should have turned around before. I've just done it again to your sheep. If the first time wasn't bad enough, there we go. I think I'll do it this way. It's going to make it much less painful for them. Maybe we should have a different trailer. Although, you can't really. This one is small enough. Is that close enough? It is. So there we go. We better shut the gate fast. Otherwise there's going to be some escapages. Hello everybody. Are we doing okay in here? Here are the alive ones. Hello. They should be happy. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Perfect. Uh, when you get to a certain number, they don't really show the amount which you have anymore, but with ten, it's all very accurate. So, yeah, that is good stuff. All we have to do now is just shut this. No, no it's already shut. Good. We can jump over here. Instead, we'll unload this uh, loading wagon. Really? Is that all they require? Okay. Well, if we 
keep it in here, it is going to rot. 50% a day, I think it is. So, yeah, shame. Is that another trough in front? It may well be. No? Okay. Well, that's obviously good enough for them. Let me just check this page here. Sheep. 100%, 100%, good. It's just water. So, yep, although it's going to be a slow start, it should end up being very good indeed. I'll keep this under cover, even though it'll still rot away. Uh, we might as well just put it in here. And like I say, we do need to do some spraying, so that's probably the next job we're going to do after the water. And actually, yeah, thinking about it, that front loader, if we can just sink the hydraulics, okay, wrong thing, then uh, yeah, we can keep that down. Good. I don't think there's anything else except for the water that we need to do here. Shut this gate. There is the water fill point. Take note. Uh, but actually, I think the actual water tanker is at a different farm. I'll have to try and find it. I'm confused. All these sheep, they keep shouting bear, but I can't see one. Bear? What, where's the bear? Well, looking at our page here, we can see that the Joskin Aquatrans 7300S, very fancy, is very close to fill number 30 over at the Mountain View Farm, which is nowhere near here. Uh, that's actually going to live at this farm, because we're only going to be doing sheep to begin with, maybe for the entire series. So, yeah, that can just move, and it can remain here. Meanwhile, I'm going to be keeping this under cover. We'll just pop it in here. So let's just drop that off, and now we can go over to Mountain View Farm to pick up the tanker so we can give the sheep the water they require. If they don't have water, they will die. It's as simple as that. Seasons Mod really does add quite a great, well, it adds a great deal of uh, realism to the game. Now, if you weren't to give water to the sheep without seasons, you would just have a very bad productivity level. But with seasons, you can actually lose your entire um, flock of sheep. Here we are, we're over at the farm with the tanker. And I think it is just around the corner here. Actually, oh, it's the same farm as where the sprayer is. If only I'd known. That is annoying. Um, I should have brought another tractor. Not to worry, at least I know where it is. We brought it here a couple of episodes back. So, yep. In a minute, when this is done, we will just return here with a different tractor, I should think it will be, grab them, and then go and spray several fields. We actually do have quite a lot that need to be sprayed. We've got field number 10, 15, 14, and was there another? Maybe it was just three, but... 14 is pretty big, so yeah, quite a bit of spraying to do. We've got to spray three times to be able to get the most productivity out of those fields. I also had quite a few messages about how to get in and out of the John Deere. Now, it might sound silly, but actually there is actually a function built into that tractor which, well, burnt to the mod, I should say, which allows you to actually animate getting in and out, which is very nice. Never done it myself, so haven't done it, so we're going to try it out today. In fact, we'll probably use the John Deere for spraying. Good excuse to use it. And, yeah, it's hopefully going to look fairly impressive. I think I have seen it once before in a video, somebody else's video, but not myself. I've never actually done it myself. At least from what I can remember. So, yeah. Give it a go later. Stay tuned. I think it is nice the amount of tracks we start off with. Um, if we do ever have to get rid of one, then we can do. It will be the Vulture, because that is the one I, I like the least. I, I don't like it for one very simple reason. And I mentioned it before. 
It, it's, if it was real life, it would be a stupid reason because you could obviously just move this particular thing which is in the way. But in the window on this side, there is a monitor which totally blocks your view when you're trying to turn, well, left or right. So, yeah, that is the only reason why I want to get rid of it. But that's only if we come into some money problems or something, or if we just feel that maybe the amount of tractors we have is just too much. Um, but yeah, that is my honest reason for not liking it. As a tractor itself, it's probably fine, but that is just ridiculous. And in real life, you could move it, so you can't base the tractor on that at all. But while it's filling up, I will just show you if you're new to the series. When I'm trying to turn right or left out of here, my light, there's plenty of um, other areas in the window to look out of, but actually that is completely in the way. When you're looking down the road, that monitor sits totally in your view. So yeah, annoying, but true. Anyway, 7,300 litres here. Uh, can we do a lap? I think we can do. I've done it already. I reckon this is the water trough just here. And they're not going to take too much, but there should still be a fairly decent amount to put in here. Are there two troughs? Does it only take one? It only seems to fill one trough. I should think that is for people who are not running seasons. Because you'd usually have it to suffice for six days, but seasons limits it to three. Just to keep you on the ball. So, yep, there we go. Nothing else to do here. We'll just turn this tractor off. And we're going to go over to the other farm. Um, have I forgotten its name? How have I forgotten its name? Hill Ridge Farm. And we're going to grab the John Deere and take it over to Mountain View Farm and then pick up the sprayers. Here we are. Okay, are you ready? Let's see what it looks like to get into the tractor. Oh, oh, very nice. Very stylish. That is indeed a very, very nice animation. We still have the drill on the back. So that is going to have to be removed first of all. But other than that, I think we're okay because we're okay for diesel. Obviously, the seed doesn't need to be refilled. That's going to be it until the autumn. It's a bit tight around here. Um, but with the gate being open, it does make it easier. And actually, I should put it into the barn just around the corner here. There's one in the entrance way, and I just find that the best place for this drill. It just seems to be the most accessible. So if we just put it into there, oh, it's opened again. It opens up when you get near to the refill point. Handy, really. Should do it. Nice to have the interactive control. Could go a little bit further back actually. If only every tractor did that, that'd be brilliant. It even shuts the door behind you. Is there a way of getting out as well? Uh, there is. Wow, look at that. Must have taken a while to set that up. Okay. So, with that dropped off, what we can now do is take a drive over to Mountain View Farm. Oh look, that crop is growing very nicely. That needs to be sprayed. It really does. So I've not forgotten how to get there. I can still remember those kind of things. I'm not very good when it comes to directions usually, but once I've done it once, I'm usually okay. So at the bottom of here, we're going to turn right. I actually probably should set my flappy paddles up again on my G27 for the indicators, like I've got an ETS-2. It would make it... Well, it would sound better, and it would be easier for me. Anyway, we're flying now. One of these tracks. It could have been up there, actually. I did say I knew the way, but I think I've overlooked it. It is indeed round here. Let's hope we don't meet a car. We are 
doing some speed around these bends. And then from here, I think we just have to keep sort of going left, because it is, well, to begin with at least, I think it is north. It's not, it's like east, northeast kind of direction. Yeah. This actually takes us straight to the farm. Should be just around one of these corners. If I'm not mistaken, that is one of the fields which belongs to this farm, so it should just be here. There are some buildings. Yep, here we go. Here we go. I think I said sprayers before. I meant sprayer with the booster tank. Hopefully that is close enough. Okay, it isn't at all. Showed how well that went. Try again. Much better. We'll get that fitted on. It's very tight around here. You do have to be quite a skilled operator to navigate all of the yards with the larger equipment without damaging anything. Shame there isn't a skilled operator here, but still. Should be close enough. And once again, we get a fitted PTO shaft, mustn't go amiss. And oh, I did try and climb back in, it didn't seem to work, not to worry. Probably too far away. If you're not right up at the door, it doesn't always work. Just scraping around the corner. And it is now time to go over to field. I think we can probably start off with film 10. Yeah, we'll start off with Phil Tan. Which way did I come in from? I'm like a, a lost sheep. Yeah, left. I thought it was. It was the tyre tracks on the road. Confuse me, because we've already been here before. Now, don't worry about any kind of crop destruction. I actually want it to happen in this particular um, layer of chemicals that we put on because I'd like to get some tram lines laid in because then next time we can use some row crop tyres which we'll have to buy um, and then we can of course follow where we've already been I think that the tram lines really do improve the look of this game it just brings a bit of life to it great demands are pretty much irrelevant to us at this stage you're getting quite a few funny thing is when you actually want a great demand you don't tend to get one it's only when you don't want them and look at the temperature, we've got 23 degrees, that is nice. I thought it was looking like a nice day. Right, left out of here. Did I just see a giveaway sign on the ground? Was that me? I hope not. And here we are, field number 10. So I've mentioned, I think it was the previous episode, I said we're going to do all the mowing, so field number uh, 30. Yep, the field we've just pretty much been to. But as we've discovered, we didn't actually need to be so desperate for the food. Obviously we needed some, we couldn't have gone without anything at all. Um, but no, that's good for the time being. We don't need to go crazy. We will be making some hay soon though. get some folded and actually there is no crop destruction at this stage it's just too new this growth uh, what I'm interested in seeing actually is if the footpath grass has regrown that's working at least good so first things first we're gonna do a headland then we can branch off the headland to go up and down the field 
think maybe this tractor looks a little bit big for the sprayer but it's fine handling it well here is the footpath down here it's still certainly distinguished um, as a footpath with it being totally free of any kind of crops oh actually yeah I think the grass has largely grown back not fully but it's done well a bit thin on the ground over the top there but no it's good well things are going very well here um, all we're going to have to do really is just keep going until we're done it's actually a bit unfortunate that it isn't destroying the crops because I actually find the tram lines incredibly useful um, I am guessing they're going to well, I'd have thought it actually would be destroying the crop now but I'm guessing on the next growth stage it will actually begin to weird, maybe I turned it off I'm not too sure I don't think I did but if I did, it needs turning on, it's very useful and like I said, it looks better too uh, without the GPS, this is one of those jobs I can't really do from in the cab view because you can't really see where you've been so yeah, I'm just going to continue and when we're very close to completion I will return very close to completion we are in the centre of the field but we've worked in from both sides so there is actually just a tiny bit left to do as you can see I'm actually going between the two, it's annoying but not to worry I can finish them both off try and merge this way a bit but yeah um, tram lines, they are required I'm going to try and get them back and here we go, the final piece which needs to be sprayed and then that should be fertilising stage number one completed for field number ten which is a third of the way there there we go and before we finish I must make sure I show you how good or bad my fertilizing skills are the coverage is perfect except for there I have missed a tiny weeny pieces there not to worry I'm sure it won't be too dramatic it won't make a drastic difference to our profits um, it'll be fine so you know, fold it up I'm going to take you back over to this yard here it's quarter past four five quarter past five wow so, um, yeah, we're just going to park it up and I think we're going to call it a day. Bit of an early finish for us. There's only one day left in spring, so yeah, it's going to be... Well, I don't even know if we'll um, keep the next uh, day of spring in one of the videos. We might just skip straight to the summer. We'll see how we go. Put that down so we can actually fit in here. And there we go. Perfect. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you again very soon in the next episode. But until then, bye for now.